Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's a very exciting video because I'm going to be doing my empties for the first part of this year. So I guess like the first quarter of the year because I pretty much started accumulating these in January. When I tell you that I'm obsessed with watching empty videos, like anyone that I follow, if they post an empties video, I will watch it. There is something so satisfying about watching people talk about their garbage that I just, I love it. And this has accumulated way faster than I thought. I was like, oh, I, I can't, there's no point in doing empties because I don't go through enough product, but apparently I do. And so let's just talk about it today. Let's go through my literal garbage. I'm so excited. And my girlfriend has been like, can you please? throw out the gigantic bag of garbage that's by our bathroom and I was like, not yet, but today's the day, so she's gonna be very happy, I'm sure. Um, I have like a lot of mishmash in here, like some body care stuff, some like just random things because I feel like I wanna know about everyone's, like everything people have gone through, you know? Okay, so I'm not going to go do this in any particular order because this is just a bag of stuff. <laughs> so the first product that I have is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This is what I use at nighttime as my moisturizer. Um, this lasted me like probably over a year. I really like it. I have been using CeraVe products since like at least high school, if not even before high school. But I just like it like it because it's gentle and at the drugstore so it's like more affordable and it takes me so long to go through one. And yeah, I like pretty much always that's the only like nighttime moisturizer that I have. Then I have a random body lotion. This is the St. Ives Soothing Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Lotion. This was used up by my girlfriend and I, so I did not use this all by myself. Um, this is like the one that we go back to all the time, although I pretty much exclusively just buy whatever body lotion is on sale, so <laughs> keep that in mind. I also have a Batiste. I have probably like at least three in this bag, I want to say. This is a light and breezy fresh scent, but I pretty much use any scent. I don't have any particular real preference. Oh, this is the Cetaphil. Uh, extra gentle daily scrub we use this as our like morning face wash or at least I do anyway we just keep this in our shower this it says that it's like a scrub but it's it truly is extra gentle like it basically does nothing it just feels like a face wash like it doesn't feel like it's really exfoliating um, my girlfriend really likes this so we buy it and I don't have super strong feelings about it, but it was good. And it was like a little bit exfoliating. And I do love a physical exfoliant, so this was enjoyable. And we actually have another one in our shower right now, so we already bought another one. Ooh, then we have a candle, because I also threw candles in here. I was talking to my girlfriend about this, and she was like, candles aren't beauty, and I was like, true but they feel like they should be in here and I always love here, love hearing people talk about candles. We are a candle household, that's for sure. We burn candles like literally all the time. This is the Velepsa Mokara candle. This I think was a gift from my mom for Christmas. It smells super good, like very fresh, which normally I like like more spicy, darker, like sultry scents. <laughs> but this was good and it actually lasted a super long time considering how small it is and the tin is really cute as well so now I can finally I might actually use this little tin for something I'm I always just like remove all the wax from all of our candle holders and just keep them and then our house is just filled with random jars <laughs> I have another candle this is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. I love, I don't care if this is controversial, I actually think it's probably a popular opinion, but I just don't think there are any candles that 
like fill a room in the same way that a Bath and Body Works candle does. Like if you're really trying to mask an odor, Bath and Body Works is the way to go. This is like my favorite Bath and Body Works candle. It smells like, what are the notes? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, well, whatever. But it basically is like sweet and smoky. It's very strong, um, but I love it so much. My girlfriend hated this, so it took us a long time to finish this. We've had this for a really, really long time, like probably a year and a half, <clears throat> but if I lived alone, I would definitely repurchase this. If you like like really smoky and sweet scents at the same time, this is so good. Oh. <laughs> Then I just have a random hand cream. This is the Camille hand cream with glycerin and chamomile. This was fine. Um, I basically forced myself to use this because my hands were so dry in the winter time because of all, like hand washing and also it was just like cold. Um, it made your, my, your hands like really greasy though. It didn't sink in right away. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't buy it again unless it was <laughs> on sale, but it was just fine. Oh, and then I have a makeup one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I use the shade 05 Fair. I love this stuff. This is probably the third tub of this I have gone through. It's like my go-to loose powder. And I, will con I have one right now that's open in my drawer. And I will continue to always have this in my collection because it's so good and so affordable. And I go through loose powders actually relatively quickly because I use like, quite a lot of them. So... I like to have more affordable loose powders that I rotate through more heavily. We have another body lotion. This is the Jergens Oil Infused Enriching Shea Butter Body Lotion. Again, this is a double. Like we go, I go through this doubly fast because my girlfriend and I both use this um, or body lotions in general. This is really thick. Like this St. Ives one sinks in like more quickly. It's more of like just a neutral, just like moisturizer. This is like pretty thick and it definitely leaves your skin sticky. But again, I literally just buy anything that's on sale, so. <laughs> oh, this I actually just finished today. This is a mascara empty. This is the Maybelline Snap Mascara. I have the shade, or I have the waterproof version. This was not great. I did not like this. I don't think it made your lashes look great. It honestly made mine just look little short and stubby. It like coated your lashes but it basically did nothing. I would not buy this again and I would not recommend it. It's not great. There's another candle empty. This is the brand Campy. Um, and this is the late night candle. This smells like an attractive ass person. It smells like, you know, um, like Abercrombie and Fitch or like Hollister. Like it smells like that vibes. This is the Canadian candle brand. We bought this at a local like little shop that's near us that sells like homeware and stuff it was it like this was disappointing because you want it to smell so good like it smells so good but the throw is like nothing even if you put this into a small room you still can't really smell it unless you're standing like right beside it and basically putting your face in it and it's really sad and disappointing because this brand has so many like amazingly scented candles but they just don't have any throw so that really sucks. I have another Batiste. This is the uh, Brilliant Blonde, like the one that are slightly tinted. It was fine. I really like the way this smells though. It smells like perfume. Um, I love a scent and I love a scented hair product, especially because I really, I have like insecurities about smelling bad. So I like like basically everything it used to be scented. Um, and this was good. And I like that it was, um, tinted although I still do feel like it gave me a little bit of a gray cast if I didn't blend it in all the way so this is a little bit random but this is the Johnson's and Johnson's like baby shampoo I use baby shampoo to clean my brushes so I went through an entire bottle of this and I really like the kind that's in the pump because then I can just pump it out and clean my brushes it's I don't know, really good. I feel like everyone has different methods of cleaning their brushes, but baby shampoo has always worked really great for me. And I've never really had any issues with it. Now, next I have a micellar water, 
Next I have a micellar water. This is the Garnier all-in-one mattifying micellar water for oily sensitive skin. I used to use micellar water to remove all of my makeup, like all my face makeup at least, but I've switched away from that. I I just wasn't loving it anymore and after moving away from it I feel like it was irritating my skin a little bit but it's fine I use micellar water also to like clean swatches off my arms if I'm like doing a swatching video or whatever so I typically always have them on hand and I don't have any strong feelings about this it did anything everything that you expect a micellar water to do ha huh. Now I have a skincare empty. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I use this morning and night, so I go through it pretty quickly. Um, I really like the Ordinary, particularly this product. I feel like it really helps with the texture of my skin. Um, again, I don't have a lot of thoughts about skincare because I don't know, but um, I do really, I really enjoy this and I already repurchased it actually, so it was, it was good, it was good. Another candle. When I tell you that we burn candles like nothing else, we fucking burn candles like nothing else. This is the Farmer Sun Co. Um, wax. Oh my god. This is the Farmer Sun Co. Pure Soy Wax Candle. This is the scent Mold. Um, this is a candle company, candle business that's run out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is I'm from Manitoba originally. That's where I was born and raised. So it's always nice to support local businesses and smaller businesses. And I believe my mom gave me this particular candle for Christmas. I really love this candle brand. I love all of the scents that they do. We actually made another order recently for more of their candles. They do free Canada-wide shipping if your order is over $75. So that's really great as well. And what I like about these is that they're not super strong, so they're not going to be like a throw that's like Bath and Body Works where you're going to get a headache and your whole apartment or house is going to smell like the candle you're burning. This has a decent throw so that you can smell it when you are burning it, which I think is <laughs> important for candles, but it just is subtle enough that it makes your room smell like the candle, smell nice, but it's not overpowering. It just makes your space smell clean, smell fresh, smell just, it's like the perfect amount of throw. So we really, really have been loving their candles a lot. And I don't think if they have this on their website right now, because they obviously rotate through scents relatively frequently because they're a smaller company, but this is like malt. It basically smells like Christmas time, you know, like a pretty generic, like Christmas time scented candle, but that was really good. And then we also have another one from them. This is the Juniper scent, I believe. Oh, they might not have this anymore. I will leave a link actually to them down below because I really, really love their candles a lot, especially if you're in, you're in Canada. It's a business to check out for sure. And this just smells like fresh. When we burnt this, it just made our apartment smell clean, which is honestly any, everything that I want. <laughs> This is a brow gel that I used up. This is the Annabelle Brow Fiber Gel. I really like this. Um, I'm into soap brows now, so I don't use, I don't rely on brow gel as much to like hold my brows in place, but this is, but I really do enjoy this and I actually think I have a backup in my drawer right now. So I think this is a really, really solid brow gel. It doesn't have the strongest holds of any brow gel I've ever used, but it makes your brows look thick. It doesn't make them look crunchy or like gross or anything like that. It's just like a really good affordable brow gel. So if you're in the market, I would recommend that for sure. Although I do like the other brow gel that Annabelle does a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> this is a very random CoverGirl mascara that I think I just had in my drawer and I decided to throw in here. This is like the original Lash Blast mascara. This was super old. I can't even remember the last time I used this. I think I was just trying to beef this bag up a little bit. I don't remember liking it very much though. Another candle. This is a Bath and Body Works one and this is the Scent Fall Farmhouse. This was really, really good. Does this have the description? Oh yeah. This says that it's 
spiced pumpkin, forest, pine branch, and fresh fall air with essential oils. This is like a very, again, generic like fall candle, but it smells really good. It's like piney. And you can't really smell pumpkin in it, but I don't know. I enjoyed it. I would get it again. 10 out of 10. <laughs> then I have a product that is going to be a little controversial. I'm not going to lie. It's the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. This, I like was my guilty pleasure for a long time. I really, really loved to use this on my face, but I stopped a while ago and I was just sitting in my shower, so eventually I just used it up as a body scrub and used it up that way um, because I know you're not supposed to use this on your face because it's like bad for it or whatever, but I won't buy it again, but I used to use it a lot. <laughs> it's a safe space here, okay? Then I have the Complex 15 Daily Face Cream. This has been my long-standing daily face or facial morning moisturizer. It's really affordable, it's really gentle, it's non-scented, it's light. It doesn't make my skin feel super greasy. I really love this. I've been repurchasing this over and over and over again for I don't even know how many years. And I actually have another one in my bathroom right now. So if you're looking for a light, affordable, moisturizer that's going to last you a long time. This is a good one. Oh, this is another old product. This is my ABH Dip Brow. I have the shade Soft Brown. Um, I used this every day for years, years and years and years. If you want a product, a brow product that's going to last you forever, a brow pomade is where it's at. I really liked this at the time. I've moved I haven't used this in a while. It's just honestly super old and dried up. I wouldn't be opposed to using like a brow pomade again, but I've kind of been really into using like pencils and stuff recently, so I'm on that train, but um, this actually makes me want to retry a different pomade. Maybe not ABH, but something else. Oh, this is my NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I use the shade Shanti. I've completely scraped this totally out it's completely empty this is like my holy grail concealer I literally use this every day it's so amazing this is probably a, the second one of this I've used up and I've already I bought it like before I even used it all the way up because I can't I can't be without it oh this is a NYX micro brow pencil I have this shade ash brown it's a good brow pencil from the drugstore and I enjoy using it. Haven't repurchased it in a while. Unfortunately, NYX is maybe not the best brand to support, but it is a good affordable brow product option. Oh, and I have another Annabelle brow fiber gel. <laughs> so this was an empty from this morning, which was like, I literally had one brow done and it ran out halfway through. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> literally worst case scenario. Um, just so difficult, but you know what I mean, like it could have been a disaster, but I managed to pull through and finish my brows. Anyway, this is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I use the shade Soft Brown. It's really good, it's affordable, and it's another skinny little brow pencil from the drugstore that is, it's good. This is another old one from my drawer. This is the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. Um, this stung my eyes. Like I have a like relatively sensitive eyes, so some mascaras will irritate them, and this just made my eyes water like nothing else. So yeah, that's not the best. Then I have this random Kat Von D, or I guess now it's KVD Vegan Beauty, but it says Kat Von D in the packaging. Tattoo liner. This is like a little sample size. Um, I can't remember what I thought of this, but I remember being disappointed. It wasn't as good as I remembered it to be. And then this is the brow gel from Annabelle that is my favorite that I actually like more than the fiber one, but I, I haven't been able to find it recently, so maybe they discontinued it. But this is the Annabelle Brow Show Eyebrow Shaping Gel. This is like in a much bigger tube compared to the other one. Um, and the wand, like the brush is way bigger. <clears throat> Look at me, 2012 YouTube holding up my hand, but this is really such a beautiful brow product. It 
defines your eyebrow hairs in such a natural way, but it really holds them in place all day. If you can find this and you're in Canada, I would highly recommend picking it up. It's really, really good. This is the Maybelline, another mascara, Maybelline Total Temptation. I also have the waterproof one. This was also fine. Um, I liked this better towards the end of its life when it was drying out but I, it didn't make any lasting impression on me, so. I have another Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim because I really, really like that. Oh, <laughs> I have a random lip balm. This is the Blistex. You know, it's Blistex. I use it up, it's my favorite. You all know what Blistex is like. Oh, this is a foundation. This, again, I had used this up before and it was kind of just sitting with my makeup, so I decided to throw it in here. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It got dropped on the floor, so the packaging is a little bit broken, but um, this is like my holy grail foundation. I love this so much. I'm so sad that I don't have this anymore. It's just so expensive <laughs> to um, repurchase, so I haven't repurchased it yet, but love this stuff. And then I have a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the shade 10 Fair, so my ideal shade is one lighter. This is really good. I already have another one in a different shade in the lighter, like one shade up, down? One shade up, the, another lighter shade than this. <laughs> so I really, really like that. It's kind of a concealer that I always have in my collection. And then last but not least, I have the Benefit Hoola bronzer. This is a little sample size that I was just trying to use up because I had it. There's like the little, the powder is like falling apart. This was fine. I would not repurchase it. Um, it was way too dark for me so I had to really like use this sparingly and it was just okay. I wasn't, I don't really have any strong feelings about it. So this is the Revlon Matte Powder about Blush in the shade Perfectly Peach. This is old. This is so old. <laughs> and I was trying to use it up. The, it, like, the powder is all just crumbling and it keeps breaking off in pieces. So I think it's time to just say goodbye to this. It, I've had this for so, so long, like probably since high school. And it served me well. I've used up most of it. And I think it's time to just throw it away. I have another two more concealers. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, which I think is interesting that they specifically reference this as an under eye concealer. But I have this in the shade 05 Ivory, so this is like my ideal shade in Maybelline concealers. Um, I, they definitely need to expand their shade range. I don't think it's amazing from what I can remember. They definitely need to go deeper. This was a fine concealer. I would consider repurchasing it. I feel like I went through this really quickly, um, but it's definitely not as full coverage as you might expect, considering how full coverage the foundation is from this line, but it was, it was fine. I just needed a new concealer, um, and I bought this a while ago, probably like a year ago, and it's been empty for a while. But it was, it was like just okay. And then I have a product that I should never have bought um, because I knew how shitty the shade range of this concealer was, but I bought this at the beginning of the pandemic when you were barely allowed to go in stores and I just grabbed it and then after I bought it I was like, bad idea. But it's the Catrice Liquid Camouflage high coverage concealer. I used the shade uh, Fair Ivory 001. It was fine. I know like a ton of people were raving about this, have been raving about this for a super long time. Um, and so that's why I picked it up. But the, it's just okay. Like I really wasn't blown away by it. I don't really have any like lasting memory in my mind of what it was like. Um, but I do remember being like, it. This is this definitely does not live up to the hype and the shade range is abysmal from anything from Catrice, so definitely won't be repurchasing that, but I did use it all the way up. I feel like I go, go through concealers really, really quickly, but if you want like a more hydrating concealer that has decent amount of coverage, I would definitely say Maybelline Fit Me. This has been like a long standing favorite of mine. So yeah, this, was my empty
Recipes video. I had so much fun filming this, so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this as well. I, like I said, love watching Empties videos more than anything. I find them so relaxing to watch, and it's kind of fun to see, like, how much, like, the products that I'm actually using up. A lot of these aren't really surprising to me, like moisturizer. I know we go through a ton of that. I know we go through a ton of candles. Um, and concealer and brow products and mascara, you know, things that I use like every time I do my makeup and I wear makeup quite a lot. So yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite products are. Have you tried any of these? What products do you go through most quickly? Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. What are you looking for? Rolling papers. <laughs>